Breaking, Attorney General Jeff Sessions sends final warning to sanctuary cities. Hello folks, my name is Jen, I'm from Golden State Times, and today we have a breaking news story. This one comes courtesy of GoldenStateTimes.com, and it says that the Justice Department on Thursday sent out a last chance warning to several U.S. cities to comply with federal immigration laws. The latest step in a battle over so-called sanctuary cities, it says that the Justice Department has threatened to cut off federal funding from law enforcement in cities that do not comply with the Department of Homeland Security's effort to identify and deport undocumented immigrants. The cities cited by the Justice Department were New York, Chicago, and surrounding Cook County, Illinois areas, New Orleans, and Philadelphia. Those cities were given a deadline of October the 27th to provide the Justice Department with documentation proving their existing law and law enforcement practices are in line with federal immigration policy. Two other jurisdictions, the state of Connecticut and Milwaukee County, Wisconsin, heeded Justice Department warnings and reversed policies meant to shield undocumented immigrants from possible deportation. The Justice Department said subsequent investigations and it said that it found that Miami-Dade County, Florida and Clark County, Nevada, including Las Vegas, were already in accordance with federal immigration law, though previously they had been listed otherwise. It goes on to say that several U.S. cities and counties run by Democrats passed local laws or enacted procedures that prohibit law enforcement from notifying Homeland Security when an undocumented immigrant is identified or arrested. Critics have dubbed such places, as you may know, sanctuary cities. It says that proponents have argued that enlisting street-level police to enforce national immigration policy makes it harder for them to investigate and stop crimes because undocumented immigrants won't cooperate if they think they will be deported. It goes on to say that a federal law, known as U.S. Code 1373, requires local police to detain anyone suspected of being in the country illegally for several days until investigators from Immigration and Custom Enforcement can intervene, even if the crime they're accused of is minor or no charges are filed. Okay, so that's already on the books, folks. It's already law. Okay, it finishes off by saying that the Trump administration has said enforcing immigration law is vital to national security and crime reduction. Attorney General Jeff Sessions said in a statement, quote, Jurisdictions that adopt so-called sanctuary policies also adopt the view that the protection of criminal aliens is more important than the protection of law-abiding citizens and the rule of law. So that's what's going on, folks. Attorney General Jeff Sessions working overtime to crack down on these sanctuary cities that are willing to protect criminal aliens above the safety of U.S. citizens. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff, folks. And what they're doing is not putting in new law, or putting in new bills. They just want people to reinforce the law to practice the law, and to follow the law that's already on the books. That's what President Trump wants. That's what Attorney General Jeff Sessions is pressuring these cities to do. To follow the law. That's it, plain and simple. It's already on the books. Now it must be followed. Okay, so let us know what you guys think in the comments section below. If you guys missed President Donald Trump's speech from earlier today, he has nominated a new DHS secretary. So if you guys missed that, it should be coming up on your screen. Also, he signed an executive order regarding health care for small businesses. If you guys missed that, it should be coming up on your screen. Uh, also, State Department had a press briefing. If you guys missed it, it should be coming up on your screen. And... Um, Press Secretary Sarah Sanders had a press briefing. If you guys missed that, 
it should also be coming up on your screen or all everything in the links in the description below. So make sure you guys go and check it out. There's a lot that has happened so far, but we have tons of news coming out both here on our channel and at goldenstaytimes.com. So swing by the website and check it out. There's a lot of news over there that we're going to be covering, but others that we cannot cover because of, you know, the whole YouTube demonetization or problems with censoring here on YouTube. So we cover them on our website at goldenstatetimes.com. So go by there and show it some love. Make sure you guys share this report. You let us know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. You give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you guys here next time. If you are new, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and I hope to see you guys on the next chat. Thank you very much. My name is Jen from Golden State Times and I'll see you soon. Peace.